Hi everyone, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. Today, we're doing something a little bit different where we're on a beautiful 18-hole golf course on the south coast of New South Wales. Today's a big day for the course and the club as they're renovating all of their greens. This involves coring, top dressing, scarifying, fertilizing across all 18 greens, so it's a massive job. Today, we're gonna to take a deep dive into what this process actually looks like on a course of this size. Let's check it out. Now the greens they're renovating today are all bent grass greens. Bent grass is a cool season turf variety commonly found on greens on golf courses around Australia. The good thing about bent grass in this situation is it stays green all year round. It does need a lot of water to stay alive in summer, but golf courses generally have access to water. Now the reason they're renovating these greens today is because greens get so much general wear and tear, it's important to core and top dress to alleviate any compaction and allow air, water, and nutrients to get down into the profile. The other reason it's important to renovate greens semi-regularly is because they're cut so short, it's important to keep thatch to an absolute minimum to give the best possible playing surface for the golfers. The greenkeepers have already been busy after the course closed on Sunday and have lightly verti-cut the greens and begun the process of core aeration. A John Deere Aircore 800 walk-behind machine is used to undertake the coring, spanning 80 centimetres across and pulling up to 90 millimetre cores. This particular machine has drive tyre core deflectors, which prevents running over the cores from the previous pass, neatly bringing them into a line. As you can see, it pulls some really nice neat cores, which ensures the green's time for recovery will be minimal. The cores are then removed from the green so top dressing can commence, with a team of volunteers also chipping in to help get the job done. The top dressing sand being used here is USGA grade dusting sand, which is the standard for use on golf courses. USGA is short for the United States Golf Association, who provide guidelines for the composition of this sand. As a general guideline, a minimum of 50% of its particles are medium coarse and 15 to 40% coarse. Utilizing a coarser sand during aeration will create more stability for the putting surface. An even layer of the sand is distributed across the greens before being swept into the holes created by the removed cores. This green in particular used about 1.5 tonne of sand with about 28 tonnes of sand used for all 18 holes. Once the top dressing is completed, all of the greens are given a good fertilise and watering. This will push growth and recovery and help to get players back on the course as soon as possible. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an insight into the work that goes on when it comes to renovating greens on a golf course. This is a massive job and a credit to all the employees and volunteers that chip in and help out. Next time your course is shut for a couple of days, just remember, whilst it can be a bit frustrating, you have to understand it's a necessity to be done to make sure these greens continue to look their best. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we hope to catch you next time.